Hello and welcome to another episode of our Way of the Hunter Dev Diary series. Today, we're going to take a deep dive into the game story. It was summer 2002, and 10-year-old River was about to spend his first holiday with his grandparents. Story is an aspect where we felt like we should go further than any hunting game has gone in the past. In the studio, we are big fans of story-driven games and specifically walking simulators, and we felt like it would be a great fit next to our hunting gameplay. And kiddo, or I guess I should start calling you River now. Welcome to the Nes Perce Valley. By mixing these two genres, we wanted to catch the eye of players who enjoy story-driven games, but wouldn't necessarily think about picking up a hunting game. The story of Way of the Hunter revolves around a family hunting business, which sells uh, wild game meat to high-end restaurants. When we were researching this topic, we came upon a real-life ranch in North America, which also sells wild game meat hunted in a free-range country and is supported by the landowners. Competition is growing every day. Ethically hunted meat with government inspection? Sounds like a pretty niche market. Uh, you'd be surprised. This is where we drew a lot of inspiration and felt like we could step into the team of the ethical hunting, which we feel like is something that we would like to support strongly in our game. Our writers and designers had a lot of fun playing around with these concepts. For example, the naming scheme for the objectives is oftentimes food related, and some of the recipes that you'll encounter in the game are pretty wild, I think. Swamps north of Bear Den Ranch were always full of wild ducks. But it is not all fun and games. In its concept, Way of the Hunter story is about family, friendship, and vastly different opinions that people can have about hunting. Um, makes sense. It does? No. Can't you just call him like a normal sibling? Believe me, I tried. He ignores me, so I'm getting a bit desperate here. I wanted to make him feel guilty, get some sort of reaction. Guilty? At this time of night? Why, what's happening? I... it's hard to talk about. Can I help you? No. Yes, maybe. I'll call you tomorrow, it's late. Uh, okay. It's nice to hear your voice again. It's about what hunting is and isn't about, and it is ultimately about uh, coming to terms with respecting nature. You will see the story play out in dialogues with other characters and comic book cutscenes and in mail you receive from friends, family, and clients. You will also meet other landowners in the area who all have their own backstories and add a lot of texture to the world. The main story plays out in Nespers Valley, our North American location, while Transylvania has a new set of characters who provide their own backstory and they all have opinions on the world. If you ever want to take a detour, both locations feature a set of unique collectible landmarks and side jobs for you to find and complete. The story should keep you busy for around eight hours or so, but those of you who just want to get out into the wild, hunt freely, and create a story of your own can do just that after just a few initial missions. But we do hope you'll give the story a proper shake. For one, for those of you who are not from Slovakia, where we are based, there's this guy in the game, a landowner named Ludovic Volko, who will teach you a thing or two about the customs of Slovak hunters. I promise it'll be worth it. What a cozy cottage. I can use it while no one is here. It was always like this in Nespers Valley. But that's enough talk about the story. It's way better to experience it for yourself. So we'll hope you enjoy it. Definitely let us know what you think. And we'll see you again soon. Bye. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you.